Alright, everyone, welcome to another episode of The Pit of a Hundred... I mean, TTYD. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We are finally doing The Pit of a Hundred Trials, and I believe it's finally time that at least we attempt to do at least 50 floors of The Pit of a Hundred Trials. Because, you know, it does seem that, you know, that we're gonna have to pull our weights here and, like... And I do want to get something that's interesting in the 50th floor that I really want to get. So we're going to do all 50 floors, cover the best we can. It does seem that we're going to have to use Goombella for some uh, tattles, so... And it does seem that at least we're going to at least try to tattle everyone the best we can with the limited stuff that we have. That's a Gloomba. It likes dark and damp places. Max H3 is 7, attack is 3, is defense is 0. It's stronger than a normal Goomba, so be careful. It's not a healthy color for a Goomba. It doesn't mean it's sick or anything. So don't show any mercy. We're getting clear bonuses. I'm curious how this is gonna go down. The more we go down. Here's hoping that we don't die. The worst thing that would happen is if we all die. And that thing already died before I even got a chance. At least on the bright side, we're getting some star points one at a time to make sure that we at least get some consolation out of it. Especially the fact that since this, you know, the pit of a hundred trials is very hard to deal. I shouldn't have at least have a problem with these enemies. I think past floor 30 is where we gotta be concerned. Because the enemies do get pretty tougher. And I wanna be very careful of utilizing every bit of things that I can. At least it's lucky that these enemies are pretty easy to deal with, so thank god for that. A lot of my upload progress has been pretty slow lately. Because I've been trying to prep for games that I've... Been waiting for June? No, July? And like a lot of my projects have been like delayed. Like Final Fantasy Rebirth or P3 Reload, but I will eventually get to finish them. Because I have to finish them, so. Fuzzies. These shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, we're going to be using a lot of FP for our fights. So hopefully that's not too much of a big deal. 
think one. I think I'm gonna have to switch up a badge, I believe. I think I have to take out the heart finder badge. Do we have the flower finder? I want to use the flower finder because we're, we are going to be using a lot of FP. Ah, oh, mother... I can't even get the advantage, fucking A. Fire flower. How useful. I got at least a story to tell of how I got into, like, Mario games. It was back then where my first video game console was not really a console at all. It was just more of a, a game. A game. What? Oh, this is a mover. Know a few things about getting through this and a few coins. I can move where you want to. Where do you want to go? Okay, this person can at least move you down in the pit of 100 trials further. But it will cost you some coins to get further. Problem is, I don't want to go further. I, I actually just want to do all 50 floors. And yeah, so back to the topic of Game Boys. I re received my first ga Game Boy as a gift. And that was like the first video game like device I've held ever since. Ever since then, it's... You guys are probably wondering, what games did I get for the Game Boy? Pretty simple, actually. Actually, I actually did get um, a Mario, like, game. Well, not Mario game. A list of Mario games. Well, a list of video Game Boy games that you could just, like, choose which game you like and, like... You could choose like one of the 50 and like you get to play them. It was just basically that. It had Eden Mario Kart, it had Fire Emblem, it had Castlevania, it had like a lot of the old school Game Boy games that you typically see on a Game Boy. And I got to play like at least a lot of them during my time. I don't know what happened to my Game Boy, I think it's destroyed. But I remember having that cartridge where I had like a list of games. It's kind of like, uh, the action, no, not action play. What's, hey, Jack, what's that thing where you, in your Nintendo DS, you get a list of games? A list of Nintendo DS games that you get to play in one cartridge? Do you remember that, Jared? Yes or no? Where you get a list of video games on your Nintendo device. Like, 50 games in one, like, in one, like, card? No? You don't remember that? I see. That was such a long time ago, so... I doubt, like, anyone would remember. But I, re I think it was called an R4. I believe the R4 on Nintendo DS era was pretty nice. Unfortunately, they don't sell those anymore because these are- Those things are technically illegal. And, like, people start to emulate games, you know? It's all about emulating these days now. But I do think emulating has gotten a bit more harsher as they taken out taken away the 3DS emulator and the Nintendo Switch emulator, which I'm kind of sad about, but and you know it is what it is. I doubt anyone was going to keep them up keep it up anyway. Uh, these guys have 7 HP. That's so annoying. It's a paraglimmer. It's a gloomer with wings. 
Now take three seven attack is three and defense is zero. It's like a stronger version of Power Gloom Goomba. But maybe that's all, all there is to it. What if living down here ever makes its wings moldy? Yeah, It's just too gross to even think about. Alright. These things are not gonna be that tough to beat. But they are pretty tough. Yeah. Gotta be careful though. I don't want to at least take too much damage. That's the worst thing that can happen. Alright, I got the super guard timing down. I gotta see what my my lucky start bad is gonna utilize the best out of it. Either be HP or FP. I'm pretty sure it needs to be like FP. Yeah, I gotta aggressively use my FP moves whenever I can. damage to this. I mean, I can. Last quake hammer, by the way. At least this is a good place to get some coins. I'm totally fine with that. I feel like we could get too many coins the more we stick it around here. So yeah, that was like my first console, like game, like video game device I use, and it evolved to the the GameCube. My first few games on the GameCube were actually. Uh, not Paper Mario, it was actually Super Mario Sunshine and Mario Party 4. That's the games I remember at the time. Oh, and I guess NBA Live, but like nobody cares about NBA Live. I might as well just use this Fire Flower. They really don't like Goombella. So yeah, I did not actually complete the story mode of Mario Party 4. Unfortunately, I was pretty dumb as a kid to even think about completing it. I know we had a very low giga, low memory, like a uh, memory card for my GameCube. I only carried up to like 60 megabyte, 60 bytes, I believe. I was kind of mad about the how much space because I couldn't utilize, I couldn't keep my save files on par with games I wanted to play which is unfortunate cuz like I actually do like the concept of the GameCube but if you're gonna give me a memory card that only had lasted for like at least three games of storage then of course it's not gonna do as well dang uh I don't think I can... I can't attack them. Fuck. Ah, lightning. That's annoying. Ah. 
I don't know what happened to my game. A lot of my game, Genki games. To be honest, back then. To be honest, like I kind of got rid of them. They kind of broke down. They got scratches. Back then, when I used to have scratches on my disc, the first thing I would usually do is like I would use water, put it on the back of the disc. And that's how it cleaned the disc. Okay, to be fair, it wasn't the most efficient way to, like, clean a console back then. But it was something. Not the self. Don't try to use water on a on the back of a disc. Probably just use baby wipes, at least. Because... <laughs> Christ, stop throwing beer cans at me. Alright, I'm gonna guys show you guys Fiery Jinx. This is a new ability for Vivian. I need I don't think I've shown you guys. Y A Y Y A. That's basically a fire AoE move where you gotta press five buttons. And then boom, it does fire damage. Oh by the way, fire no, this the, the the fiery jinx it ignores defense. Very useful. Very useful, by the way. If you're, in, but if they are like immune to fire, then it doesn't do, it doesn't really do well, sadly. Ain't that, ain't that right? I don't think we've seen a new enemy just yet for a while. This is also a place where you can literally just test, like, your badges. Where do you like to or not? Super guard. You know what's so funny? I talk about getting a Paper Mario, pa no Mario Party game. I started from four, but apparently my parents gave me six, not five, but six of all things. Isn't that crazy? They didn't give me Mario Party five at all when I was a kid. Like I'm kind of shocked by that decision. Like, how would you feel if you got Mario Parties? You got Mario Party 4, you get 6, you get 7, but you don't get 5. Apparently, they thought, like, maybe 5 was a... They didn't want me to get 5 or anything like that. I don't think 5 was that bad. I guess, like, it was just different. It had its unique story mode, which where you fought like Koopa kids, and then like I didn't understand the whole Koopa kid thing until I realized, oh, they were discovered in Mario Party 5, and like Koopa kid became an iconic like Mario Party character. Fortunately, after that, it didn't seem like they want to push Koopa kid into being a character, which is kind of disappointing. But you know, it is what it is. Did you like the concept of Koopa Kid, Jared? Or Nay? Bowser Jr. Oh my god. He's a lot of dumb stuff. You know, I'm just gonna fiery jinx these fuckers. You gotta be careful about your button presses. Because the Y and X button are way different than the, the usual. I mean, I could technically play this game on a game controller, but I need but I need the Nintendo adapter in order to do so. And I think like setting that up would be a lot of work. 
I have to set up some wires, I have to like set up like a lot of dumb stuff, like plugging it on a different USB drive. And like that'd be that'd be too much work for me to do, to be honest. though I know I've talked about like Mario parties in the past like I think the best concept that I really like was the dual mini games the one-on-one -on -one dual mini games were really good like I really like the dual mini games oh there's this guy of course he gives me a thunder rage for 200 coins ain't no way bro that's expensive Thunder Rage for 200 coins, man? Madge. Get a fire drive. Attacks all ground enemies while ignoring defense also burns them. Wait, is fire drive like the quake hammer, but better? Or nay? I've never tested the fire drive out. Oh. We got a new enemy. Spike Par Paragoomba? Oh no. It's kind of bad for me because these guys are pretty tough. I might have to use, uh... I guess... You know what? I want to test out my new uh, thing. I want to show you guys this new... Uh, that's a spiky Gloomba. It's a spiky Gloomba that likes dark places. That G3 is 7. Attack is 4 and defense is 0. Its attack is pretty high, huh? Do you notice by trying not to jump on a spike? I wonder if they look like that if I stay down here long enough. I will not think about that. Are there any tanning salons in Rogue Court? Okay. I want to test out this new thing called Heart Attack. Normally, I would save this occasion for something bigger, but... This is, like, this game. All you gotta do is just circle the enemies around. Over. And over. Until the, and there's a time limit for this, by the way. So you can at least get up to five circles within the time limit. Or four large ones, depending how fast you are at making the circles. You just gotta be really good at making the circle, obviously, so... I hope Goomba Ella doesn't like suffer too much in here. I need to use like a, a mushroom at least. Oh, these guys, these guys are annoying. Luckily for me, I have Fiery Jinx. Boom, that takes care of that. I don't get as much star points, but at least, like, getting rid of them all at once is a better deal than, like, having them, like, you know, annoy you the fuck out of you. And we get a Sleepy Sheep. I should utilize these items. Whenever I can. Because getting the 450 is a big priority. Lackey 2. Well, that's very annoying. Hey, Jared, can I use the bombs on, la on the bomb? Can I use fire on the bomb bombs? Will they destroy the arena? Only the big ones, right? Okay. Yeah, I'm using a lot of FP for these fights. Oh, 
I just gotta be careful when they utilize certain moves. That's why Vivian's one of the top tier party members in this game. For having really great AoE coverage. You know what? I'm gonna use I'm gonna keep using fiery drinks while appealing to, to the audience. Fucking, you use a fucking invisibility. Luckily for you, you're gonna die. Oh, they give me a, they give me star points. Who knew? Six star points! Hell yeah. I think I know what upgrade I'm gonna be choosing next. We'll just have to see how it goes. The fights are getting tough because, like, we're using our star power, but... It shouldn't be no problem. The worst part about this is that you never know, like, what kind of enemies you might have to face. That you might have to burn, like, a lot of your... ...your FP for, like, certain enemies that you really, really need to get rid of. Oh, that's an HP Plus badge. I don't think I need it, obviously, but... Oh, what the? Why did- this guy has 12 HP? Oh, it's because of the HP plus badge he has. That makes total sense. Luckily, I have a spike shield badge, so... The fucking power plus- HP plus badge that can be applied to enemies. Omega lol. Ah, I couldn't super guard that. Ah, I tried to super guard that. I'm very bad at super guarding. I just gotta uh, do better. Forehead. So I'll probably just share this news on my YouTube community post, but. As it stands, I have been invited to at least two. I'm been. I am officially going to two conventions in NYC. I'm going to Anime NYC, which is in August, the end of August. And I'm going to New York Comic Con, which is in October. I'll be looking forward to those two events because, like, those two are completely different. One is more focused towards my style. And one's more focused towards sponsors that I really like. And well, hopefully we get to do a lot of stuff 
from the convention. And we're getting close. Those boos gave me fucking like. Give me some star points. They're not even giving me star points, they're just giving me coins. Hopefully the more levels we get, the more deeper we go, they hopefully give us some stuff. I know I'm using a lot of like in my badges, but like, yeah. Yeah, we have exponentially increased a lot of our coins, which is pretty nice. Though I gotta be very careful what I do. Because it could backfire on me if I, like, if I just die randomly. Dying would be the worst thing that would happen. As I don't want that to happen. You know it's fun when like a lot of the enemies are just pretty easy to deal with. I might as well use a sweet treat, why the fuck not? Ah! There we go. Good enough. How annoying, you actually use your damn super mushroom. But that should be fine. So back to video game topics, at least. I think the next console I got, I know like mostly a lot of the games I played back then for Nintendo Focus because it was catered towards the kids and I was a kid at the time. I believe the next thing I got was a Nintendo DS. Only sole reason I wanted a Nintendo DS was to finally play Pokemon. Yes, back then I actually did play Pokemon, but I wanted to truly immerse myself in the Pokemon experience with learning how to play the basics of Pokemon. And like, Gen 4 was the... Diamond and Pearl, Gen 4 was the first thing that comes to mind when playing Pokemon. It's basically, my brother was the Diamond... No, my I was the Diamond Dialga. My brother was the, the Pearl Palkia. Like, complete opposites, honestly. Really still like the fact that, you know, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice to at least, like, know that you, you can at least appreciate the fact that whatever your first game was on a new console of er eras, it was handheld too. Back then I used to like sneak. I used to sneak my DS to school. Because I really wanted to play Pokemon. And all of my other students, classmates, wanted to do the same thing as well. Oh wait, you're not supposed to flip this coupon on its back, right? Right, Jared? You're not supposed to flip the purple coupon on its back, right? 
Yeah. That's a dark Koopa. He lives in the dark places that the light never reaches. HP is 8, attack is 4, defense is 2. You're tough to get in regular, so you won't be able to beat it easily. It doesn't have the same weakness as regular. Flip over and it's helpless. Why do you think you need sunglasses down here anyway? What's the point? That one's a shady Koopa. Oh, you're giving me defense! Well, well done, Marley, but you're... Attacking my Goombala, though. Ah, uh, I came in guard. I don't have it equipped. I kinda unequipped it. I didn't think it'd be useful now. I shouldn't be that bad. Hopefully. Okay, at least they're giving me start points. Finally, we're at least getting some start points. Ten star points. I get to level up at least. All right. I think what we're gonna do is upgrade our HP. And floor 31, okay, 20, like 19 more to go. Goal is to get to floor 50, that's the, the primary goal that we need to reach. I think these are the super clefts. Okay, these are pretty easy, all we gotta do is flip them over. And I at least froze them. Poggies. At least try Miss Mouse, our new party member that we got recently. What I did find out is that I believe a lot her attacks ignore defense. I which is I believe this is new. I don't think this was in the original. And I gotta just tilt the left to right. And you get that's the stylish timing after that. I'm gonna try it. Like, I'll show it again. It's kind of like Belle from Paper Mario. Where she kind of uses, like, the slap mechanic. But the problem is that it, it doesn't ignore defense, so it just does pure, just pure one damage at a time. What's the kind of weakness for her bow was the fact that hers couldn't pierce defense. So if there was like a defense point of one, she could, really couldn't do much about it. But she was strong. It's just that certain enemies that have like one defense or be like, dang. I guess we can't utilize Bo. Now this is where the... Now this is where stuff comes into play. Like multi-bounce. Unfortunately, I don't have multi-bounce, so... That's kind of bad for me. 
I do want to tattle them. I have to tattle them, no? Can I make them sleep? No incoming sheep! Yep. It's a parabuzzy, a buzzy beetle with wings. That actually increases five attack is three, and I guess defense is four. I guess those stats are just like a buzzy. Fire and explosions don't seem to have no effect, so don't bother, okay? Flip it over, defense goes down to zero, so jump on it first. These guys are, are relentless, though, so I gotta be careful. I can only do one at a time. Oh my god, I guess I can't do one at a time. Guard. Woo! That kind of helps out a little bit. That makes me give you a ton of star points. Knowing how durable they are. I don't need you, Merly. Not now. Uh. The timing of Merly is terrible, by the way. When you need her to do certain things. Maybe activate Merly after this battle, hopefully. I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, nope. Nope. Early is just off on her own world, trying to like help me out with luck base effects. Oh well, not much I can really do about that. Let me refresh the oak. Let me refresh the capture card. Oh no 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 no! Oh no! Oh, I didn't have time to react to that. Oh, I did not have time to react to that. Shit. That's annoying. Okay, they're on the floor. Okay, they're on the floor. That's that's totally fine, right? Why are they throwing beer cans at me? Oh no! Oh no, I forgot they have that mechanic! Fuck. They have them- oh no! I, I think I'm fucked. Oh my god, I'm fucked. I think Goombell's gonna die, fuck. I did not realize they have that mechanic. I keep my life through for this shit, fuck. I did. I didn't think they had this effect. How was, how was I supposed to know? So annoying. Uh, I I'm using art attack. I know it's a waste, but I I have. To. Do I trust myself using earth? 
Oh my god, this, this game's gonna be giving me bad RNG right now. Oh, almost flinched there for a second. out right now. I just lost a fuck ton of HP too, which is even worse. Now I gotta be very careful about how I play this out. Alright, I'm putting the Heartfinder badge back on. Flower Finder badge, Heartfinder badge is very, very important. And we gotta get put some we gotta get some HP back. Shit. I have not used the gradual syrup just yet. I might have to use that soon. I did not realize those Koopas were in this in this damn thing. Why you gotta use Vivian? Oh, it does, did he, don't tell me! Don't tell me it's a noob. Okay, you've already seen this enemy. Thank God. Be careful about how you do your actions from now on. It's very crucial at this stage in the in the, in the trials because you don't you never know you never know what enemy you're gonna face. Are those Koopas weak to fire? They have to be, right? I'm gonna use Fiery Jinx, fuck it. City is at an all-time high, and if you don't know what the fuck you're doing, then you might be in danger. And those Koopas really costing me my life, Shroom. Kind of set. I'm kind of upset about that, sadly. Oh, of course I messed up the timing, why am I not surprised?
Yeah, Goombella. Despite how good she is, I kind of fucked up on my mistake that that time, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. Very careful about the, the big mistakes that you can make, like those damn Koopas. We're, try, we're gonna try not to make another mistake like that again, because that's technically my fault for allowing that to happen. Oh, great. These buzzy beetles. Luckily, Miss Mouse is pretty good because she does ignore the defenses. Don't tell me this one replicates itself. No, my FP! Don't take my FP! You piece of shit! Damn Koopas. I think I'm gonna have to use Vivian. Oh, they have an earthquake. You know what, fuck it, we'll use it. I'm wasting it. There's some things that you can waste, and I can't afford to, like, lose any of my... my HP for this shit. We get a floor 40. Pity Flower Bash when Mario takes damage in battle, occasionally you recover 1 FP. Cool. Alright, now we got 10 floors to go until we are finished with the Pit of 100 Trials. Right now, we just gotta go through these damn 10 floors, and it's gonna be rough. Here on out. We're gonna have to tattle them too, which is also another thing. Fuck! I didn't get the first strike. Oh, that is annoying. That's a dark character, but lives in dark, damp places. Max HP is 8, attack is 4, defense is 2. It's strong, but otherwise it's just like the other paratroopers. Airboat should try to ground it first. Could be rough for me. We'll see. Yeah. 
get rid of one at a time, which would be fine. Yeah. Fuck! I mistimed it, and I wasted a turn. Ooh, okay. Yeah. You can't take these enemies lightly. Or else they will give you some like, a lot of a lot of work like that. Yeah. That's a spiky power buzzy. It's a buzz with spiking wings. After you use five attack is three and defense for it. Hey, that's the same set as the Nora Buzzy. Fire tools in the work of Buzzy in case it's giant. Oh, worse yet, the one flies in and the air has a spike. What a total pain. They're off using an item or special move to take him out. Oh, That was hopefully I can get something. Damn, those Buzzies don't like- they don't like Lumbella whatsoever. Oh, now to now to become a new enemy entirely. That's a spike top. Buzzy beetle with a spike on its back. I have to fire attack tree at defense. Well, like another buzzy fire flip. Okay, I can't flip it up. Drop its defense here. Sure you notice her, but try not to jump it. That spike hurts. Well, she had some spike spear badges, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Merly coming in with clutch. Hell yeah. 20 stop points. Alright. Best be careful how many enemies we're gonna fight. Because these enemies are gonna get tough on here on out. The worst part about this is that you never know what you might expect. Hey Jared, I found the big bombs. You can't bomb that you can't get put fire, right? On you? They're about to explode. Oh wait, they don't get they don't get to attack unless they fuse, right? Okay. I just gotta uh I'm gonna tattle them then. Bulky bomber, which is like other bombs, but it's huge! Attack is six, attack max page three six, attack is still defensible. It's true, it never attacks, but once it fuses, it's little bluff on its own eventually. I don't mind taking itself out of battle, but the explosion it hurts us too. Oh, when it powers up, the attack power is 8, so watch out. The fire explosion will make the bluff immediate, so I guess seeing off area is one strategy. You can run too, but if you're gonna fight, beat it before it goes off. So I can, so I can at least explode them, right? Surely that won't backfire on me, right? Alright, we'll explode them then. So be it then. What the fuck are you guys trying to do? Stop giving me a dried mushroom, you damn cuties. Alright, this is gonna... Oh, they take- oh, we do take damage. Damn, eight damage, though. We got one star point? Fuck! 
What do you mean we get one star points? I thought they gave, I thought these guys give you more star points. I was lied to. Fuck it, I'm gonna have to use my uh honey mushroom. Yeah, fuck it. We're using the honey mushroom. Oh, these fire enemies. Do, does Miss Mouse attack fire enemies? Yes or no? No? Okay. I guess coops will work. I gotta be careful, at least. There are two new enemy types that I gotta deal with. I think my best bet is to use Art Attack. Figure out when I can tap. All right, let's get some FP. Then we'll switch to BP. Usually, when it comes to danger like this. I gotta be really on mark about certain things I really want to do. Like these damn pokies, for example. Like, I want to tattle them. By knowing this, I may have to use star power, too. Poison pokey. That's a poison poke, as you probably get the poisonous pokey. Actually, if you use an 8, attack is 4, defense is 0. If you get poison, your HP will slowly drain. You may want to avoid that. As you can see this, they don't have spines all over, so don't touch them. Maybe smiling, but that doesn't mean they're happy to see you. Don't fuck up the Trevors. If Super Paper Mario does get ported in the future one day, I'll make cover on the channel. We'll see though. Ow. Huh, I didn't get poisoned. Surprisingly, I did not get poisoned. Maybe it didn't maybe it wasn't worth the poison me. <laughs> or something, I don't know. Yeah, we're getting a buck ton of star points. Because we are facing higher level enemies. And floor number 44. Can't, you gotta keep your guard up. At least. Uh, these things. These things are so annoying to deal with. She. Mm. 
I want? I don't have the multi bounce. Dang, I don't have multi bounce. I want to use. Pretty tough to deal with. I'm thinking about my act. You know what? Fuck it. Okay. With low total concentration. Full breathing. While we have the time, let's actually talk about some animes I've been watching. I have a full list of fucking animes that's on my list ongoing right now. Yes, I still have not finished Apothecary Diaries. I really like that anime, but I am only like a few episodes away from finishing it. So we'll just see how that goes. I'm currently watching this season, third season of Konosuba. Very funny. Gives me a laugh every single episode I do- I watch. Maybe I should- Watching Mushoku Sensei Season 2 Part 2. Fun fun season, by the way. And I'm also watching Kaiju Number 8. Really, like, great anime. It reminds me of 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. So I really like watching that anime. I highly recommend that show because, like, it's really fun to watch. And also trying to watch Slime Anime Season 3. I know people give flack to Slime Anime for a bunch of yapping. But, the le but a lot of the yapping is actually leading to something. It reminds me of Trails where they like to talk a lot and then like action speaks louder than w words, you know? So it's kind of like that. I know pop probably people don't see it that way because they never tried the Trail series. I'm hoping people n try the trail series as it gets normalized, but I doubt it because, like, a bunch of stupid gacha gamers don't even want to try console games, so... A lot of the gacha gamers are too scared to at least try new comp, like, new games. They rather just stick to gotchas. They think that gotcha is the best thing in the world. Like, come on, guys. You gotta give other games a chance to expand your repertoire, at least. 
So yeah, back to anime. Okay. Watching uh, Misfit Season t 2 Part 2. Although it's not great, the quality of the, the show went down. I still watch it from time to time. I don't regret watching it, to be honest, so... Oh, it is kind of disappointing that, like... Like, a lot of it went down from just one season. And there's nothing I could do about it. It's a lava bubble, it's a flame spirit. Max HP is 6, attack is 4, defense is 0. It's an HP attack power may be different from an embers, but it's otherwise just the same. It's made of fire, try not to touch it, because it will burn you. Whatever you do, make sure to attack with fire, I mean it. And it's vulnerable to attacks, explosions, it's primarily it's vulnerable to explosions and ice attacks. Well, if you get hit by a flame attack, you might as well catch, you might catch fire, so guard well. I'll try my best, Lubella. Oh god, I need a new party member for this shit. You know what? I could've used Power Smash, whatever, it's fine. Ow! Motherfucker! These guys are so annoying! Because the sun is so bright. Have you not realized the sun is so bright outside? You know, I'm gonna take advantage of this turn. Okay, good. Why are you giving me defense, Merly? I don't need you right now. So yeah, back to track here. I'm also watching Magic High School Season 3. Fortunately, it's not as good as, like, the previous season, so, like, I gotta get cast of doubt of sh a thumbs down, unfortunately. Still fun to watch with my brother, but, like, it, it's not as good anymore. Watching Whisper Me Your Love Slug. Unfortunately, the anime quality really dripped down after, like, several episodes. And it literally just delayed itself within two weeks. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm just gonna read the goddamn manga because the manga is so much better. My god, a lot of animes are going through dumpster fire of like terrible animation over the course of their season. Yeah, it's unfortunate how anime quality likes to drip down over time, and there's nothing you could do about it. How is it when you hype up some new anime that you want to watch? Only for it to, like, cast doubt upon yourselves for, like... ...on the quality itself. 
Like, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. At least Eurocamp is quality when well, always sky high. So Eurocamp is actually a great anime to watch. It's, it's an underrated gem. People should watch more of it. It's just unfortunate that, like... It doesn't get the l much love that it deserves. Like, 71k on my anime list, it should be, like, at least 200k. I guess that's when you know, like, people don't give a shit about Slice of Life animes. And Euro Camp is just the exception for, like, one of the best Slice of Life's in the in crunch roll right now. People are blind to see how good sh certain, certain things are, which is unfortunate, so... Okay, what floor? I think we're getting close. Oh, we're finished! Alright, we good. We good. Strange Sack, an item that lets you carry up to 20 items. Now, we can carry up to at least 20 items in our inventory. Woo! Great, fantastic. That's the goal of what we wanted to do. Because that's basically what we really need to do. Go up to level 50 and like, boom, boom, boom. That's it. Alright. I think... By now, I think that's gonna be pretty much it. Damn, we spent like nearly an hour on the Pit of 100 Trials. I'm telling you guys, the Pit of 100 Trials is no joke. That you'll literally have to spend an hour doing every single battle, every single minute. And it gets pretty annoying. But the payoff is always worth it, no matter what, so... You just gotta be very careful on what you want to do, so... Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Next time, we're gonna be continuing onward, finally towards Key Hall Key. With the ship that we got from Flavio. And yeah, I'll see you guys all next time.